straight up your face, no sugar coating, no editorial restrictions, giving you the real deal so you can deal with it. Now let's get on with it. Sweet baby Jesus! The youth of Kenya, the youth of Africa, you need to wake up right now. After this COVID-19 period, God willing, if you're alive and well and healthy and strong, this is a time for a revolution. This is a time for change. And you have to take this as seriously as you take your life or a threat to your life. Because if you do not make any change in terms of leadership in your country, if you do not make any meaningful change in terms of how you want your country to be run, how you want your constituency to be run, how you want your community to be run, how you want your neighborhood to be run, then you would have learned nothing from this uh, COVID-19 pandemic period. This COVID-19 pandemic period has exposed a lot of faults that we have, not only in our personal life, but also in government, in our county governments, and also in our communities, and also in our neighborhoods. Many people were not prepared. Many people were not expecting this to happen. And it has devastated a lot of people. And, you know, there's more devastation to come. Uh, many will lose their jobs. Many will lose their income. Many, many have already lost their jobs as well. Many have already lost their income. And this is a shift uh, that is going to happen uh, both uh, social and economic in, in changing everything. The world that you left uh, in December and January, uh, that world is gone. That world is normal. You're entering a period whereby things are not as clear as they should be. Um, governments are not communicating to you as clear as they should be. You don't know what's happening. You don't know what's going on. Uh, you know, everything is a mystery. You know, this is more like a dark period um, and a period whereby you're supposed to do a lot of self-reflecting not only as an individual, but also as a family, as a community, and as a nation. Um, a message to the youth of Kenya uh, and the youth of Africa is that Africa um, has been run so badly uh, by the leaders um, that you elect, or sometimes you don't even elect them, they, impose, they imposed on you or they impose themselves on you through rigged election. And, uh, you know, they've, they've taken this uh, continent to a very, very dark place and our countries to a very dark place where we lack the basic amenities like medication, like uh, hospitals, we like uh, research uh, stations that can provide us with the right cures for different diseases that afflict us, you know, the right education is lacking uh, in terms of an education that, you know, builds on Pan-Africanism and how we can build ourselves in terms of um, the African youth uh, gaining uh, power and also understanding that we together as one, we can work together uh, in unity and create a powerful uh, continent. You know, there's so much division uh, in terms of countries, in terms of tribes, even inside countries that, you know, we are losing our focus and we are losing um, our, our objective in terms of actually uh, moving forward um, as a country and as a continent uh, to achieve success um, and actually be able to be self-sustain, uh, to be, be able to self-sustain our economies and our livelihoods. You know, the rule of divide and conquer is very clear. It's been used uh, by your politicians, but it's also used internationally to divide and conquer uh, your countries and divide you into tribes and everything so that you don't ever achieve progress and you keep fighting amongst each other while some other force just comes and takes everything from you uh, while you're still fighting and you're losing. So this is my message to the youth of Kenya. After this COVID-19, the youth of Africa, after this COVID-19 period, you need to really seriously organize yourself, mobilize yourself, have a strategy of taking power, have a strategy of regaining and taking this power because power is not given. Power will never be given to you. Power will never be given to you. You have to form your own strategies, come together, form your own communities, form your own unions, form your own movements to take power back so that you can be able to shape the future of Africa. And the future of Africa is only through Pan-Africanism. Pan-Africanism is the only way that Africa will ever achieve its success, where we focus on our people, we put first priority to our people, we give the best to our people, we look for the best deals for our people, we protect our people, and we guard 
and give value to our people. This is what will protect Africans and having the laws that are necessary, that are Pan-African laws that help, that are able to protect you from any other force that is going to come and try to destroy you or try to mess up with what good you have. This is my message to the youth of Kenya, the youth of Africa. This COVID-19 period has given you a time to sit down and reflect, sit down and look at yourself, sit down and look at what's around you, sit down and look at the world and what is happening and I'm sure most of you have raised a lot of doubt on how leadership is done, not only locally, not only in your own countries, not only in the continent, but also internationally. And this is the time whereby you, unless you stand up this time and organize yourself to take leadership and take the path that is going to uh, probably take uh, your countries and Africa in the right path of Pan-Africanism, be prepared to be messed for a hundred years or more because if you do not learn from this period that you need to stop the tribalism you need to stop the psychophancy you need to stop idolizing some of these leaders that you have that have no interest uh, in protecting your people if you don't move away from that and you go back to that after this period of self-reflection then you will lose for a hundred years and you'll never have political change and politics runs everything in all countries. It's the politics that determine the rules of engagement. It's the politics that determine how resources are distributed. It's the politics that determine how you are protected as an individual and your rights. If you don't do that, then be prepared to lose for another hundred years and you'll never get a chance like this again to reflect and to actually look at yourself and be able to make those changes. Also in your personal life, I'm sure most of you have looked at yourself some of you have said and patted themselves on the back that they did the right thing. They were able to save up some money. They were able to actually organize themselves in a, in a proper way so that whenever there's a pandemic, they can be able to sustain themselves and their families for a good period of time while they figure out what's going to happen. And some of you also have also experienced a situation whereby you've realized that I didn't save a lot of money. I don't have money. And um, I'm actually going through a difficult moment right now. Nothing is guaranteed in terms of work i cannot go back and sometimes even do the work that i used to do because of certain restrictions and um all that uh, that is going on right now with the lockdown and people being told to stay at home people being told uh you can't move from this area and move to that area so this is a moment that has actually given you a reflection and even in your personal life you have to make those changes from this period that will able to will be able to enable you move forward once this economy opens because we know once it opens it's going to be a different a different economy like i said the economy that you left in december 2019 or january 2020 it's not the same economy that you're going to find when this thing is over if it's ever over you will not find that so you have to adapt to the new environment and what will require in the new environment. If it means changing your skills, if it means being able to do some things that you didn't want to do, if it means rolling up your sleeve and saying, okay, fine, I know I'm a professional, I know I'm a graduate, that I have these degrees, but now I have to do some other kind of work that is not, um, it's not an office work, so be it. So long as you survive, so long as you have a plan, and so long as you'll be able to make a income to support yourself, support your family, and support your dreams and your future, that is what you'll have to do. So take care. This is Douglas Ebola TV. Douglas Ebola TV, catch me on Instagram, catch me on YouTube. Please subscribe. I do not have all the answers, but I will share what I'm thinking because I know some of these issues you'll never hear from your mainstream media. Your mainstream media is more, mostly focused on socialism, entertainment, socialites and propaganda that is sponsored by your political elites they'll always blind you and brainwash you with information that has no meaning or makes no sense so that you keep on keep on keep on getting brainwashed and you don't really ask the critical questions or you don't see the focus of what is happening around you right now the world is changing and it's changing drastically in a very very rapid and drastical way and, you know, if you don't understand what is happening, you will be left behind and you will suffer. So you need to understand your environment and what is happening around you and protect yourself. Protect your country, protect your community, protect your continent. It is essential and it is critical. Douglas Ebola TV. Bye-bye.